Governor Soludo, who used the opportunity to point out that the creation of the Nigerian Cardinal should enthrone fresh ideas and a new face in Nigeria, Southeast and the state, stressed that there is something spiritual about the event coming at an unusual time. The governor drew the attention of the congregation to the challenges encountered by Cardinal Opaleke in the past, pointing out that in all, God's grace was sufficiently evident in his affairs and thanked God for his elevation. I want to say that this is marvelous in our time. This will be for me an opportunity for us. This is very unusual, like I said. Two cardinals in Africa, one from Nigeria. There must be a message. There must be something spiritual happening. And we pray that this creation of a new cardinal from Nigeria will become a point of contact, will become, let's use it as a point of contact, and pray that something new will happen in Nigeria. On his part, the president of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of Nigeria, Archbishop Austin Akabueze, congratulated Cardinal Obaleke on behalf of all Catholic bishops and asked him to always imbibe and portray the spirit of long-suffering in his new elevation in God's vineyard and ask God to fulfill his plans for the state. I wish to take advantage of this opportunity to express our deep appreciation and gratitude to the amiable Executive Governor of Anambra State, His Excellency Professor Charles Soludo, for the great hospitality he extended to our bishops in his country home in Sofia. Your Excellency, may all your great plans for the development of Anambra State find fulfillment in the Lord's name. Once more, I congratulate Your Excellency on your elevation. May God bless us as we work together to build up His kingdom. Responding, Cardinal Obaleke noted that the height he has attained was made possible by God, expressing confidence that he will see him through. While emphasizing that he remains the second substantive bishop of Ahira Diocese, the Cardinal pointed out that the diocese remains very dear to him and thank God that it is still alive. While appreciating Governor Soludo, he said that the church in Ahira Diocese remains very dear to him because he remains the second substantive bishop of the diocese, thanking God that the church is still alive. His Excellency the Governor had prayed here and we echoed Amen that a new light, a new dawn comes down in Anambra State, in Nigeria and in our world. May I also appreciate our non-Christian brothers and sisters, our non-Christian brothers and sisters who are here today to jubilate with us. We have one Father in heaven. As his children, let us unite to produce a united, livable, and loving human family, conducive for everyone, no matter his or her creed and color. The mass celebration was attended by the Deputy Governor, Dr. Nye Kachukui Bezim, Deputy Governor of Humo State, Mr. Placid Njoku, Senators, Archbishops, Bishops, Chief of Staff to the Governor, Mr. Ernest Eza Ajore, Deputy Speaker of Anambra State House of Assembly, Dr. Pascal Abudike, Senator Victor Ume, as well as the Senator representing Anambra South Federal Constituency, Dr. Ifanyo Oba, Catholic Faithful, among others. Cardinal Obaleke, who is among the 20 new cardinals of the church, is one of the two African bishops and the only Nigerian sworn in. With the new cardinals, the total number of College of Cardinals has grown from 208 to 229.